Spring bulk. Oh. Spring bulk day 13, boys. Spring bulk day 13, boys. Hold on. Spring bulk day 13, boys. Today, we're doing a freaking protein shake talk. You guys know how it is. We're actually on probably what is our last one to two scoops of protein. So, we're going to freaking take advantage of it here. We're going to just... We're going to empty out the rest. This is always brutal, this last part. You guys notice I also duct tape my whey protein because I pretty much always tear the bag when I open it and I want to keep it fresh. So I always tape it back up. But I think that's about it. I mean, they're, yeah, that's it. All right. We're out of it, boys. Which means we're still getting a decent amount here, probably about you know 20 grams of protein or whatever probably a superset this with an oikos uh protein yogurt but boys the mindset okay your potential is only as high as you allow it to be okay and in my mind right i'm going to have 20 inch arms i'm going to have a 58 inch chest i'm going to have 30 inch quads i'm going to have 20 inch calves you guys get it. And I'm going to also have 19 inch forearms just because that's cool. All right. Now, whether I reach these goals or not, I truly do believe that I can reach them. And if I didn't believe that I could reach them, I think my training would be less effective. But because these goals are so far, so extreme, okay, and most people will tell me that I'm an idiot for trying to follow them. It makes it seem so much cooler to follow. It makes it more ambitious, right? And I've had so many people comment, say, bro, you can't do that natty, or it doesn't matter how much gear you'll take, you'll, you'll never look like that. Dude, I don't care what anybody says. If I wanted 30 inch arms, I still wouldn't care what anybody says. Although I don't think that that's, you know, that's crazy. That's, we're getting into crazy territory. But I want to set pretty awesome goals and I want to put in some pretty hard work all right showing up every day and making sure I'm getting my daily protein in and getting in enough carbs before my workout that's showing up and putting the work in making sure I'm uh, moving around throughout the day and you know getting in my cardio and stuff that's going to help me uh, bulk in a more lean manner right and prolong the bulk so I could put on tons of lean mass but the goal of this bulk isn't to get mediocre results. The goal of this bulk is to blow up into basically, um, you know, the, the first freaking evolution of my mass monster journey. Okay. Right now I still got a, what most people would consider a sleeper build, right? Like if I wear a nice fitting shirt, people can tell I work out. But the second I put on the jacket, man, people are like, they, they have no idea. They genuinely have no idea. And, uh, you know, if they really try to look, they can see it, especially like if you see guys who go to the gym or whatever a lot, they can tell even through a hoodie if somebody works out. But you guys get my point. I want it to be so obvious to a normal person that they're like, oh, wow, you know, or, you know, to the point where uh, this is also a pretty good compliment that most of you guys aren't aware of. And it's kind of a backhanded compliment, but it's still good where they're like, oh, well, he's short, though. Well, they're pretty much just saying you're super jacked to a point where you need to have some other fault in your, you know, freaking, I don't know, physique. My point is, boys, it needs to be obvious to everybody that you're huge, jacked, and stacked, and that you lift tons of heavy loads in the gym, okay? And in order to reach these goals, like 20-inch arms, I, I'm already preacher curling the 60 with one arm in full range of motion, which you got to check out in my other video. Not with the right arm but with the left, which is weird because my left was always weaker. And full range of motion, 60, right? What I want to do now from this point forward is just improve my reps with the 60 and just get my form super good, okay? And eventually, you know, when the form is real slow and everything and I can control it for like a set of 10, my arms are probably gonna be like 18 inches, okay, by the end of the bulk. And that's just the bicep side of things. We're also talking about the tricep side of things too, right? Basically, I wanna be able to easily slap on a 45 onto the uh, tricep pushdown and move some heavy weight for same deal, probably a set of 10, okay? And maybe even more, we'll say, we'll say uh, two plates on top of the pushdown, that's my goal. And then also, uh, for incline pressing, you know, I want to get up to like, on this bulk, for sure I want to get up to three plates. Uh, but I 
am setting an extra ambitious goal, which I've set a lot of ambitious goals in this video, but I want to override press three plates on this bulk, okay? On the Smith machine, seated Smith machine overhead press. I'd probably end up doing it in elbow wraps, which add like 20 pounds of assistance. So on the Smith machine, three, three plates on each side would be 295 since the bar is 20 pounds less and I'd be getting 20 pounds of assistance. So it would be like a kind of like a real 275 that I'd actually be pressing. So that I think is attainable for sure. That's definitely possible. Shoulders would get bulbous and huge. I would become wide. My clavicles would no longer be a limiting factor. The meat would just protrude out the side, okay? And I would have like that muscle pit bull look what I'm shooting for, okay? That's exactly what I'm shooting for. Uh, and boys, the goal is just to get girthy and wide and have depth and have giant tree trunks and humongous calves. I mean, just huge overall. And I, all the obviously, here's, here's the thing too. I want forearms so big that even through a hoodie, they protrude through. Even, I'm gonna say, an XL hoodie, okay? And not one of those XL hoodies that runs small. An XL hoodie that runs, you know, big, all right? Forearm protrusion through the XL hoodie. These are the goals you have to set if you want to actually be a freaking legend, bro, okay? If you wanna be a standout physique, if you wanna be the biggest guy in your gym, if you wanna be the biggest natty guy that you know in real life, dude, you gotta set these goals. And you can't just say, oh bro, you reach your natty limit after five years. Oh bro, you can't keep progressively overloading and just expect to grow. Dude, I, I, I genuinely believe that you are limited by what you believe, especially in the gym, okay? But in a lot of aspects of life, okay? Especially life, but especially in the gym. You guys are limiting yourself, so don't freaking do that. I used to limit myself. Think that small physiques were all I would have, you know, to settle for. And, you know, being a super low weight, because I'm 5'8 or whatever, oh man, you know, I'll probably have to be 140 shredded. Bro, that's, that's just not even, dude, I wanna be like 220 lean, okay? And a lot of people will tell me straight up that's not possible, but that's my goal, man. And uh, you know, if I don't get there, I won't be disappointed in myself. I'll just know that I gave it my all and tried my best. So anyway, I guess my point is, don't limit yourself with having small goals. And I think you should expect to be a lot bigger and stronger when you reach your natural potential than you actually are. Because people always like to talk about genetics. And I think at the end of the day, you can only guess that you have good or bad genetics. You never really know until you reach your true potential. Okay? So, anyway, boys, I'm gonna freaking down this to finish out this video. And I gotta shake this a little more, actually. And uh, yeah, boys, I mean, church was freaking good today. I enjoyed it. I got amazing sleep, despite the fact that every you know Saturday night my sleep schedule dramatically changes. Um, you know, I usually am a late night guy. I stay up till 4 a.m. pretty much like most nights. But uh, on freaking church nights, I go to bed at like 11. You guys might be thinking, how do you switch your sleep sleep schedule back that far? Melatonin, bro. Just take a good amount of melatonin, whatever works for you. Uh, take it in increments, you know, about two hours before your bed, you know, when you want to go to bed. Boom, 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 whatever. Fall right asleep. You're going to get a solid eight hours. That should be your goal. And I usually, no matter how early I wake up, I always get about seven or eight hours because I figure out when I need to get to bed to get eight hours. And I take melatonin about two hours before that incrementally. So... Anyway, that's my biggest tip to get a bunch of sleep if you guys got to wake up early. And it has been a freaking massive, uh, you know, savior of my games. So definitely worth trying. Anyway, boys, I've, I've said that I'm going to down this three times now. So I'm going to freaking down it now. Excuse me, but I'll give you guys a little physique update too. So, should I just show you? I probably should just show you. Um, 
Hold on, I gotta untighten this cap real quick. But um, I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm getting a leaner appearance, and I've been bulking for, this is uh, day 13, so tomorrow will be day 14, two weeks in, and I actually have a visibly leaner appearance, okay? I definitely look more watery, but I'm more vascular than I was at 155. And uh, today's weigh-in after eating was 168. So let's show a little physique update. Mind you, I just freaking down a protein shake, so I might be a little bloated. Mm. All right, I probably don't. I probably don't even look good right now in this lighting, but who knows? <sighs> who cares? We're supposed to look good in all lighting, right? All right, that's all you guys are getting. I'm not gonna. I'm not about to hit a whole pose down. So, ugh, boys. With that said, abs are still looking pretty sharp, at least from what I see in my bathroom mirror. Uh, pecs are still strided. We still have a chest vein that we unlocked. Bicep veins out the wazoo. You see them creeping down the side of my arm still vascularity all freaking throughout the forearms okay Ugh. signs of leanness but anyway boys we got chest day tomorrow i gotta start getting ready for bed edit out this freaking banger upload it to the internet have it scheduled okay and i will see you guys tomorrow for chest and tricep day